No, you don't want to follow me in here. Just give me a minute, we'll talk. Well, good morning, guys. It is uh, just about a quarter till five, and we're gonna get going on this. So I, obviously I don't have any studio lights set up or anything. I'm just getting my day started. Uh, this is gonna be the only point probably <clears throat> that I pay much homage to uh, a normal schedule. I start out my day with an apple and an orange. How about I get that shot? And a uh, nice big cup of protein coffee. Anyway, you guys don't need to watch me struggle to peel an orange. My morning routine involves some time uh, doing some Bible reading, some prayer time, some journaling time. Um, because mental and spiritual fitness are just as important as anything else. So uh, this is so much more talking than I usually do at this time of morning. So I'm going to do this and I'll pick back up with you guys in a little bit. All right. So I'm going to weigh in real quick. That way we've got a baseline for the day. I would, I, I just weighed in yesterday because uh, I wanted the... I wanted to get a body fat calculation as I closed out my cut and my recomposition from the first just over half the year. I would typically anymore not weigh in multiple times a week. Um, it used to be something I did all the time. We can talk about that more here in a little bit. Everybody else in the house is still asleep. It's just now 5.30. So uh, let's see if I can get a shot of the scale without... Um, without making this uh, inappropriate for YouTube and showing you guys a little bit more about me than I, any of us want to have happen. All right, so we are starting this cheat day at 173 pounds. Well, now that I'm a bit more awake, uh, I'm out of the house where everybody is asleep, and I'm out of town where I'm less likely to be viewed as a psychopath and possibly stoned. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's actually get this video more properly underway. First of all, welcome back to Tactical Review. Uh, obviously, this video is something vastly different. Uh, well, today is, I wouldn't exactly call it a day in the, it is a day in the life of Blair, uh, but it's not a typical day on many fronts. Uh, number one, it is, or it's also an epic cheat day. Um, and I did some back of the napkin math last night uh, on my, you know, I've kind of thought out of one, what I intended to eat through the course of today. And it looks like we should end the day somewhere around 12,000 calories. Uh, I will keep you guys posted uh, on that. Obviously, we'll keep our running tally as I go. Uh, I also actually have a trip planned with my cross-country runners today. So we'll be spending some time at the Indiana Dune State Park. We'll do some tra uh, trail running. I'm still going to wear the vest uh, in part because if you haven't run and moved quickly in whatever body armor you think you're going to use, you have no idea what you're in for.
So I knew there was something else that I needed to cover while we were out on our walk and I completely forgot. Uh, that was ground rules, all right? Because every one of these cheat meal videos or cheat day videos always has rules. Uh, rule number one, liquid calories do count. I know in a lot of these videos, these kind of videos, they don't count liquid calories. And I think that's just because it's super easy to uh, do some very calorie dense fluids uh, and make it easier to hit a certain calorie goal. I don't necessarily have a specific calorie goal in mind and the fact of the matter is is that in your day to day liquid calories absolutely count. Number two calorie goal like I said I if I eat everything I intend to eat uh, I should hit somewhere around 12,000 calories. Uh, if I'm still hungry at some point I'll eat more if I'm full, then I'm probably going to stop eating. I mean, I'm not going to waste a ton of food. Uh, the flip side is I'm still planning to be pretty active today. I, I don't have any intention of chumming the sands of Lake Michigan. Um, you guys might find that entertaining, but, but I won't. So I'm not going to gorge until I'm absolutely miserable, um, but I am going to still eat an irresponsible amount of calories one way or the other. Realistically, anything over like six or seven thousand can be deemed probably pretty irresponsible. But for now, it's time to order breakfast. Hi, yeah, I'd like to order some pizzas, please. Yeah, let me get uh, two breakfast pizzas, and then I'll take a, a regular pizza with everything on it. All right, twenty-five minutes. Thanks. I'll see you then. All right, guys food's ordered. I'm going to get kind of ready for my day. I've got 25 minutes to kill. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so as I was kind of framing out my plan for what I was going to eat today, I tried to put myself back into the mindset of how I ate for years, especially when I was working construction. I was on the road all the time, and so I ate a lot of food from convenience stores and fast food and things like that. I'm sure that's pretty similar to how a lot of you are functioning. And this would not be an atypical breakfast for somebody in that situation, especially, or specifically for me in that situation. I'd roll in someplace and they'd have like a hunk of breakfast pizza and uh, I might grab a donut because volumetrically that pizza is not very much and then, you know, I'd want something to drink. So I might grab a, a hot coffee or a cappuccino or, you know, something like that. So now volumetrically, there's not very much here. But let's start breaking this down because according to the Hunt Brothers website, a hunk of breakfast pizza is 500 or 550 calories. A standard chocolate covered donut from Dunkin is a relative lightweight on their menu coming in at around 260 or 280 calories and the fact is is that I really wanted like some Bavarian cream filled and and some apple fritters those hit even heavier something close to 360 to 480 calories uh, sadly when I went to Dunkin's to pick up some donuts they didn't have any of those left anyway and then this bottle of Dunkin' iced coffee weighs in at 280 calories. So right here, we have something like 1,100 calories. 500, 550 calories for the pizza, uh, 560 calories between the Dunkin's items here. And you can very quickly see how if you were a, let's say, uh, 180 pound individual looking to lose some weight so you were doing and again this is just back of the napkin math here uh, so you had 1800 calories a day to give if you're burning 1100 of those at breakfast it's very very easy for things to get out of control but the thing is is that even at 1100 calories this does not qualify for epic cheat day proportions so let's go ahead and plan on a half a dozen Dunkin Donuts and we'll go ahead and just kill the rest of that breakfast pizza shall we
guys, it's been so long since I've had bread. And there's nothing inherently wrong with bread, I want to point out. That's how I chose to do my diet on 75 hard. That's another discussion. We can talk about all that later. I'm going to eat. Donuts that I bought last night are a little dry today. Again, hazards of living in a small town, but this would probably definitely be a little bit easier if I could have picked up fresh donuts this morning. I certainly don't want it. <clears throat> and after this, I'll probably be perfectly happy going another seven months without eating any donuts. But here goes. Guys, I feel gross. <clears throat> now put that in perspective. Some quick mental math here says that that should have been around 34, 3500 calories. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't have that kind of gastrointestinal uh, response to what I normally eat. Anyway, so that is healthy into a bulking day's worth of calories, uh, hit here at just one meal. And uh, though I disbelieve it now, it, I wouldn't be surprised for me to be ravenous again here in just a few hours. So anyway, uh, made it through that. And um, all right, I feel disgusting. I just want to take a nap. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready and go meet my cross-country team at the school. See you in a bit. Uh, well, guys, uh, we are getting underway. I, I have a <laughs> minibus full of high school athletes. And um, it's obvious that we are runners. <laughs> because one of my athletes just tried to throw, I think it was an orange peel out the window. Oh, it's a banana peel. Excuse me. Yeah, he missed and hit the window frame. It's gonna be one of those days. All right, well, I don't know if it's sugar crash or... Um, you know, just the sheer quantity of food that I dumped down my gullet, but I'm definitely feeling very fatigued. So I'm gonna do the 
typical American thing, and we're gonna attempt to caffeinate and dominate. All right, let's get back on the road. We are less than a half mile into this run, and I have regrets. <sighs> oh well, I don't do things by halves. I do not want any more food. But it's needed. But, <laughs> but I don't know that it's needed when I've already had two days worth of calories. But anyway, we've got a Supreme Pizza. Now there again, I'm thinking back to my busy when I used to work construction and stuff. And so I would buy like a hunk of pizza. Well, that's like 500 calories right there. People don't even think about it. It's a pizza. And so now I'm gonna try to eat four times that. Let's go. First time I've ever done this. <laughs> is this for bulking season? Uh, this, I'm not even sure now why I decided to do this. I have regrets. These were supposed to be part of lunch, but uh, we're going to hold off because otherwise we're going to get an instant replay. <laughs> the the, uh, the concept is to go and play on the beach. Right now, I, I think I'm just going to lay out and be a beach whale. Check you guys later. Still haven't eaten those uh, peanut butter cream pies, but we're at Dairy Queen. And I got something that I thought was something that a regular person might actually order. Got a flamethrower triple, got an order of cheese curds, and a peanut buster parfait. All right, here we go.
don't. Those are hard to get everything out of. That's probably the best we get. And that's just one more way to get a day and a half worth of calories in less than 20 minutes. Okay, time to head home. Uh, I still have these peanut butter cream pies. I feel a lot less miserable. I feel a lot less miserable after the uh, Dairy Queen than I did after either of the other two meals. Here's something though. Here's something I want to point out to you guys. It's a, a big gotcha. So you'll see this and it says 130 calories. But then when you look, it's 420 calories per cookie. Nice. But seriously, these are individually wrapped. Why would why would the serving size be a third of a cookie? Just make the cookie smaller, little Debbie. Anyway, all right, let's see if uh, let's see if I can keep these down as uh, we head home. guys well it's been a long day a fairly miserable day I'm finally just barely feeling not absolutely awful so uh, well let's change that uh, right now I'm a little past 10,000 calories uh, but I've got this pint of Ben and Jerry's tonight dough now I'm not a fan of Ben and Jerry's politics at 1220 calories this was the most calorie dense that I could find. Um, so this is what I'll be eating. Uh, we'll wrap this up here in just a minute with uh, me making myself miserable again. And uh, then, yeah, we'll, we'll do a final progress pick for the day and a final way out and then I'll probably tomorrow morning I'll do a, another weigh in and just kind of give you guys an idea of what 12,000-ish calories looks like while it's still processing and then after it's had some time to process. Anyway, guys, I really hope that you got something that is useful to you out of this video, even if that something is just entertainment value. Um, Anyway, I would really love to help you guys if you need help on your own fitness journey. Um, and my hat's off to the guys who can do 10,000 calories, 20,000 calories regularly. This is miserable. I have, I feel like that kid uh, who got caught smoking a cigarette and then was locked in the closet and forced to smoke an entire carton. I don't think I ever want junk food again at this point. Um, just give me some fruits, give me some vegetables, give me some like real meat and let me be happy. Anyway, yeah guys, uh, so I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if uh, this kind of content or the normal firearms type content is anything that interests you and while you're at it, uh, click that notification icon. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can head over to the uh, Tactical Review store, grab yourself t-shirts, uh, stickers, channel merchandise, and uh, that helps the channel and then you spread the word about the channel. Uh, or uh, you can uh, head down and if you're needing some supplements for your fitness journey, uh, there's a link down there. You can head over and I personally use 
Uh, First Form Supplements, they are an American company, American sourced, uh, really go deep into the science and of getting the best supplements possible. Uh, I've been super pleased with using those. I very proudly recommend those. Uh, you can also head over if you if you're needing body armor. You can go to the RTS Tactical Store using the link in the description, and the channel will uh, benefit from your purchase, and you will be protected. So you can head back and check out the last video and see uh, their AR 600 plates in action. Um, yeah, if you're not following the channel on social media, especially if you like the health and fitness type stuff, I. I post a lot of that over on Instagram, uh, as well as firearms content, so on and so forth. Uh, and then if you'd like to help support the channel directly, you can do that through Patreon or Subscribestar. Obviously, not any kind of requirement to do that. Um, put up content as I can, no matter what. I just I really appreciate though those Patreon supporters. So, uh, guys, I'm going to bid you adieu. I'm going to eat some ice cream. I'm going to catch some Z's. It is the next day. Uh, yeah, I, I wear the same like clothes around the house when I first wake up. Whatever. Anyway, there you go. There's your there's your proof on that. Uh, I'm I'm not even doing the fruit today. I'm I'm gonna start the day with some protein coffee and probably an antacid. That, that this was a this was a terrible idea. I don't know why I, I ever thought it was a good idea. Uh, nope. Mm, nope. Anyway, uh, here after a bit, we'll uh, see what the see what the aftermath is uh, on the scale. Obviously, the scale is going to be elevated uh, in the big scheme. I'm not that worried about that. You're the average. Your life right now is the average of how you live it on a daily basis. And so <clears throat> even one loss, if you want to qualify that as, as a loss, you know, hey, I'm, I'm trying to watch my diet and I'm trying to exercise more and I had an off day. I'm, I'm just ter No, you had one off day. Look at each day and, and determine if it's a win or a loss. And as you stack up wins, one or two losses don't matter. All right. I stacked 201 solid win days straight. One lost day does not off track me. It's fine. And I think that's the biggest takeaway I wanted anybody to have from this. Anyway, this uh, this postscript is now way longer than I'm meant to be. Bye.